Last time we knocked out one of the biggest eyesores left on the walls. Basically, it's good up to the roof now. Mm -hmm. That's so gorgeous. <laughs> That's driving me insane. <laughs> Garen also got all of that extra wiring that was just hanging out of that eyesore. He got that all tucked and set up for the lighting, which is what we're going to be diving into this week. Can I take your order, please? In building with earth bags, we discovered that our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be a part of our family for this week's adventure. the overhead lighting, we decided to go with just a pretty traditional camper, RV, um, LED, just a regular switch on it, nothing mm -hmm. fancy. And I really wanted to get black ones, but I had a very hard time finding them. So I just picked up some white ones. I'm just going to try and paint them black. I think we should just take them apart and then like tape off the, the LED light bulb in there. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should scuff them up with like a really high grit. I have some 2000 or something in there. So it doesn't peel off. Yeah. Well, should we disassemble these? Yeah. There, that's the trick. There we go. Is that just plugged in? It is. Let's just get a screw. Take that out. Unplug that. Yeah. You think it's gonna work, babe? I think so. Yeah, I think if we didn't sand them, it's just too smooth. I think it would just peel right off as soon as it dried. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I agree. How's that one feel? That feels perfect. There we go. Painted. They look beautiful, huh? Going for that nice speckly look, you know? Reverse weathering. It's where you put the white underneath the black instead oh, yeah. of the black underneath the white. Yeah, exactly. It's part of the rustic look we're going for. Yes. What do you think? I think those look perfect. Okay. Put these puppies dry. How about that? We have not touched the ceiling in all of our demolition and redoing and stuff because the cloth was just so nice. The trim even too is super nice. So we thought maybe we would sand it down and try and polyurethane it to get it to match the palette look. So my thought on this is to tape the cloth off so that I don't, while I'm sanding, rip it all up, you know? I don't know. It kind of looks the same to me. Yeah, I mean, like, it's a little lighter, but... I kind of wonder if it's the shape of, like, the... Yeah. I think we need a wider palette one. I think so. It's more about the design, not the color. Yeah. Worth a shot, though. And you want to get started on getting them ready to be mounted in? Sure. We're going to take and drill some holes in the bottom of this cabinet here and run wiring to them. Sounds good. Ba, ba, da, ba, ba.
yourself a mobile pool here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can come help us, Cecilia? Come on. The old one down. Fire up the next one? Yeah. Good bubbles. So you got this one all assembled, so we can put it up there? Yep. The yeah. black turned out really good. Do so we want it this way or this way? I actually think that way. This way? It looks better That's to me. That's the way I feel too. Perfection. Here, you want out? <laughs> nice. Oh, are you shutting all the doors? Uh -oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Oh, hey! <laughs> oh. <laughs> what do you think about buying, Isaiah? Oh, that's a nice color too. You know how like a lot of LEDs are just straight white? It's, it's dim. Softer. Yeah, and if you look at it, it doesn't hurt your eyes too bad. Which is nice because they're right at eye level, you know? Yeah. Should we get the rope lights in now? Oh yeah. This is our roll of the little strip lights here. I think I got like a warm white color. So I'm hoping that it matches the color of those now. With those being a warm white too. You want to turn the switch on? See if this bad boy lights up. Ooh! Oh, that's perfect color. That's so cool. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so fun. That's gonna be sweet. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's see what we got. So we can cut at each one of these little copper bits. Mm -hmm. It's gonna look fun. I cut the little bit scarily easily, didn't it? Wow, how perfect that is. Ooh, doggy. That's cool. You have to go backwards, so you have to undo the whole thing. Oh, I'm sure they grab the tools then. I feel like this is going to be a cool frisbee. Does look like it's going to be a cool frisbee. I'm impressed with this stuff. The quality seems really good. Looks good. We didn't test this one. It's because we are that confident. Ready? Ooh, doggy. You need it up? Huh? Let me help. <laughs> so we thought about this whilst we were doing the lighting. And I think we're gonna try and find some boards and replace these. They're just a little too odd of a shape. They don't really match the palette walls. And we can't help but touch it. Great, Lenny. I will admit, she's uh, kind of okay with me. But the color bothers me, and the shape bothers Karen, so I'm just gonna end with this one. That makes sense. Let's go see what we got. Okay. There. Yeah. So, I think there's something like 47 inches or something. Yeah, just over what a pallet board is. Oh. So we're gonna have to cut something, or, ooh. ooh. That looks just about perfect. Is that plywood? I don't think so, it doesn't have the grains. Ooh, look how easy that bends. Ooh, I'll bet I could cut more of those too, out of like a two by four. Nice. Ready? No going back after this, darling.
Hey guys. Hey. Did you get those pieces all cut? Yep. Oh, and you polished everything now? Yeah, I did. Oh, it looks so pretty. Uh, should we just pop them up in there? Yeah. Should we just bing, bang, boom, done? Sounds good. I think I'm just going to try and go directly in the center. 25 inches. 25 inches. Okay. There you go. Thank you. That looks so much better. Oh yeah, that tied it in. That's what I needed. Should we wait now until the evening and come out and try the lights and see what it looks like? Yeah, in the dark. It's going to look so cool. Yeah. Come on, nighttime. Yeah. Ready? So this should be the strip lights. Oh, it's so cozy. <laughs> that is really cozy. That really made this thing pop, didn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's so fun. That's really cool. It's gonna be so fun to be in out camping and have those little lights on. <laughs> it really is. Should we test it with the shop lights off? Yeah, let's do it. You ready? Yeah. Good morning. You guys enjoying the new lighting? Oh yeah, it's so bright in here. <laughs> As I've been going in and out of the van a lot, my back has actually been hurting me because it's such a tall step up. And we had plans to kind of fix up the step in the side of the van. We have a really like double short step where it's like a three inch spot and then it goes up like four inches and then another four inches. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of clean up this messy area, make one nice step, and that's gonna help out a lot getting in and out of the van.
tell by all the oohs and ahs. We are so thrilled about how the van is coming together. Bree has done all kinds of awesome designs that you could get on a t-shirt or tank top or mug. The link for the Milo Homestead shop will be down in the description. On Wednesday, there's going to be a highlights video of Bree and Jared's wedding, so make sure you go check that out. And we'll see you on Monday for the podcast. Bye! Ready? This is it. Ready? One shot. Ready? Okay. <laughs> you laugh. It does not help. <laughs>